Hi and good afternoon. I'm Jason and uh, I just wanted to update you on my uh, Strafaria rugoso annulata, also known as the wine cap mushroom bed that I've made right here behind me. Um, and uh, they're actually starting to sprout outside of the bed, which is funny. But um, I wanted to get you a close up uh, and just let you have a closer look at what these look like. Uh, so um, here, are, are, here they are. <laughs> Um, and more should be sprouting actually from the inside of the um, of the box. But um, as you can see here, they're right there. So neat, right? Um, but yeah, there they are. There's like a little cluster of them, which is so. I think they're adorable. Um, and I'm actually going to cut one out so that you can. Um, see what they look like, uh, some identifiable things about it. As you can see, this wood behind it is pressure treated, which um, has come more to my recent knowledge. I mean, I know that you don't want to grow mushrooms, um, saprophytic mushrooms, on pressure treated wood, uh, but the bed itself is made out of really, really old pressure treated wood from a different part of the garden. Um, so I, I'm hoping like they, it's already leached out anything that was in it. The actual material that the mushrooms are growing out of is, is a fresh wood chip mulch that I did a, a couple months ago. Uh, maybe like three months, I'm guessing. I'd have to double check that. But um, these are not really, they're not growing out of the wood. They're growing next to it. So I think that they're fine. I'm not sure, but I think so. But they are, they are the edible wine cap, Strafaria rugoso annulata, also known as the um, Godzilla mushroom or the garden giant. Uh, I remember when you, you know, if you do get these always, you know, I don't really recommend, I know it's hard to really say. Um, <laughs> you want to be very, very careful when foraging mushrooms. If you're not 1000% sure that you are accurate, um, and even then you might want to question yourself, uh, you know, you want to, I recommend not eating them. But um, as far as these, I planted these here. Um, I specifically did this. Um, it's just they're sprouting right outside of the box. I'm assuming the mycelium leached down to the bottom where a lot of um, moisture is. And actually the mycelium comes to the top, but I think there's just more moisture at the bottom. And so it kind of has started to go down the hill a little bit. But uh, but yeah, I did you know plant this and I know it's growing out of the fresh wood chip mulch um, that actually has no vegetable dyes in it at all. It's just, or no, it has vegetable dyes. It has no synthetic dyes in it. It's just fresh um, wood chip mulch. That's what I've grown these strafaria in. Um, anyways, um, I will be replacing this bed because I am all about using um, non-pressure treated wood um, for edibles. Like uh, this planter bed here, all of the planter beds I've made are made of actually um, non-pressure treated, just raw redwood. Um, and I also um, have netted the bottoms with stainless steel go for wire um, and it's it's wire that's made for subterranean use underground to block gophers and it's just stainless steel but um anyways here let me cut this off so you can see it uh so i'm using a bread knife because i feel like it's just it's sharp it's easier to get in there um some people break off the entire stock i'm not gonna do that i'm just cutting it there and i'll just snap the rest of it off If it lets me do that, actually, it's not letting me do that. <laughs> so, there we go. That should work. So, as you can see, oh, it's still stuck. So, the very fibrous stock. There we go. So, Oh, it looks like there's another one. <laughs> but um, anyways, here it is. And as you can see, the gills are gray. And it has that crown. It's called Kingstrafaria. So that's a very identifiable feature, is that crown that's hanging around the top. The burgundy-colored caps. This thick white stalk that's solid. And then the gray gills. So those are all identi identifiable features of the Kingstrafaria mushroom. And um, anyways, uh, that's, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna saute this in some olive oil, and I'm gonna eat just a little bit, and see how I react to it. Because you never know if, um, if you know if, if you have an allergy. Um, I know that with strufaria, uh, I've been told and informed that you um, you won't, you don't want to eat this for more than two days in a row. 
Um, I think it's because of the way your body breaks it down. It takes them more time. So if you're just eating them every single day, it might be a bit much. But otherwise, um, you know, uh, harvesting some, having some, you know, it, it should be just fine. Um, but anyways, I don't recommend foraging mushrooms unless you really, really know um, exactly what it is. Because, you know, uh, if it's not the right mushroom, mushrooms can be very, very toxic. And some of them actually are deadly. Um, so you, you don't want to make a mistake. Like, not ever. So, um, anyways, uh, this is Strafaria rugoso annulata, also known as the wine cap mushroom. Um, I planted this here. Uh, the company I got it from um, ha it's, it has a certified organic certificate that comes with your, my product in the mail. Um, I provided a link below um, if you're interested in growing your own Strafaria rugoso annulata. Um, yeah. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like updates on my newest videos, please click that subscribe button. And uh, once again, thanks so much for hanging out. My name is Jason.